Hello everyone. Today we are going to take a look at how to limit the amount of characters typed into a text box so that it doesn't overflow our field when it's inserted into the database. Um, so the way that I do this is that I use two different functions. These ones here that I've just popped into the global module again. Um, one which will go into the on key press event and beep as the user is typing when they hit the limit uh, to alert them and to enforce the length constraint. Um, and then another one which is going to go into the um, after update event uh, because I realised that even with the, the other one um, it didn't trigger if a long value was pasted into the text box um, so this one will check the length of the string when the focus moves away from the box as well. Um, so these are the two modules here that I use for that. Um, if you just want to pause the video and type them in that would be grand. Um, and unfortunately I can't for the life of me remember where I got them from so if anybody recognises these please do let me know so that I can credit the authors um, but they are ones that I just found on the internet one day and I've used the same ones ever since um, so thank you very very much to whoever wrote these because you are a lifesaver <laughs> right so Let's have a look at how to use them then. This is the one to beep when we hit the character limit. Um, and then to use this, we need to add, if we go into our form here and click into our text boxes, um, we're just going to add these onto the two like free typing boxes, which is going to be first name and surname here. So I'm just going to click onto the event tab and I'm looking for on key press, which is just there. So I'm just going to click there for event procedure and click the little ellipsis and then it will just create that code block for me just there. So I'll just type a comment in here. Let's just say um, ensure the user cannot type more characters than the field accepts. Um, and then to call that function we're just going to say limit field oops, field field <laughs> limit field size um, and then key s key um, and then that field box I think is 50 but I'm just going to set it to 2 just so that I can show you how that works there um, so if I run my form we can see there that can you hear it beeping it won't let me type more than my two letters, but I can type one or two and then and then it starts beeping there. So we know that that works. Um, I think my field length is 50, but I'll check that and update it afterwards. Actually, yeah, we'll just set it to 50 now and then I'll have a look. And then the other one we're going to look for after update, which is just there. Uh, and then our bit of code is just created there and so let's tie into here um, ensure the character limit is not exceeded um, and then let's have limit change um, text first name and then if I just put two in there for now I can show you again how that works so if I just start typing there, and then when I try to change the field, it will tell me there that it's truncated it to two. And there we go, it's done it for us. So I'll show you again. There. There we go. So, happy it is. Now what I need to do is do the same for the surname box and key press there we go and then I'll just copy which one's that key press 50 and after update I'll set them to 50 for now and I'll just check my database schema after I finish recording this and then I'll make sure it's accurate. So yeah, set that value to the length of the field in your database. <laughs> but that's pretty much it. Oh, and I also need to update the name of 
that text box there because it's in the surname field. Yeah, don't forget to do that, otherwise uh, it's going to be checking the wrong text box for the character length. Um, so there are a couple of other functions I often add into here to like remove special characters and numbers and things like that. Um, but we'll look at those later on in the series, I think. Next time, let's take a look at creating uh, some more of our main form. So at least it'll start looking more like an application then. <laughs> Um, so if you found this tutorial useful, please do like it and subscribe to our channel. Uh, feel free to add any comments below. Uh, thank you for watching.